Hey, good morning, you guys. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I shared this really great um, idea of using corks to be able to do shamrocks. And as I went through my day, I was thinking of all these other ideas that we could use. And so I just thought that we'd go ahead and do a live and we can we can all do this together. So I'm just going to put it down a little bit more. So I'm just using... <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. I'm just using scrap paper right now. Um, so, I mean, you can use different kind of paints to work on different things. Um, and I think all of these are great for kids. There's there's one that you guys might be a little bit hesitant, but they're all, all the rest of them are really great for kids. So the first one that I thought was a good idea was using cotton balls. All right. So oh, I guess I should have opened that first. So just from the dollar store, regular cotton balls. All right, so I'm gonna grab out, you know what, I'm gonna grab out three so then I don't mix my colors. All right, so this is the idea with the cotton balls. All right, so I'm just gonna, I just have my green paints. It's just acrylic paints. Um, I think they were from Joann's. I really don't remember. I've had them a really long time. All right, so I'm just gonna dip them, get our circle, okay? And we're just gonna do it. Uh, make sure you guys can see. If you're having trouble seeing, um, make sure to swipe the comments to the right. All right, so we'll do one, two, and three. All right, so we got our little sections. Make them random out if you need to. I probably should have had somewhere to put these. My bad. All right, and then I thought... You could even do it in layers. So if you're going to do it in layers, I would actually suggest starting with the darkest. Okay, so I probably should have done that first. But we have our dark one. All right. Or you could just mix them up and do them different colors like this. All right. So then we got our dark one. I'm going to let that one go out just a little bit more. There we go. All right. And then I have our middle color. All right, and I'm just gonna dab it a little bit just to give it a little bit of texture. And then I'll hold it up for you guys to see what it looks like with the three different colors, okay? Kind of just shakes it up a bit. And of course, let's see if I have a, have a uh, paintbrush. I'll just add that in. All right, if you guys can see, I'm just gonna add in a few lines just to give it a little bit of texturing. Of course, the kids will love it even without the texturing, but since I have a paintbrush in my hand, you know? All right, there we go. Give a little bit more down here. All right. So that's how that one turned out. Super easy, super cute. All right, let's see about the next idea, okay? So that's one and you can do multiple colors whatever you want like I said you probably want to start with the dark color just because if you start layering on top of the light one it'll just get buried right all right so the next one is some cotton rounds you know in theory I can open it all right so I think we'll just do one all right and so I'm gonna use a plate for this just because I need some more area as you can see I did find somewhere to dump my stuff all right so just making sure you guys can see so I'm going to lay down, <clears throat> excuse me, a decent amount of paint because we want enough to be able to dip it in, right? All right, and so the idea I had with this one, and so I haven't practiced any of these, but I just, my brainstorming was happening, so I figured I'd get on and do it with you guys. I totally just got paint all over me. All right, so what I thought was a good idea for this one is if we fold it in half, and just give it a little bit of a rounded edge. So I'll show you exactly where I'm cutting. So we're just gonna give it that little bit of a dip so then it will look more like uh, one of the shamrock leaves, all right? So that's it, all right? And we're gonna open it. Doesn't that look more? And I mean, you, you could trim it out and give it more of a heart shape, you know, do a, let, let, let me make sure you guys can see. You could do a line here and so that would help make it, I mean, I'll straight out make it like a heart. Here, we'll go ahead and do it so then we can see what it's like. So then they'll mesh together just a little bit better. So just doing a little trim. All right, and then we open it and it'll probably look more like a heart. That, that corner is a little sharp. Make sure it's a little bit rounded. There we go. Probably won't matter once we get the paint on, honestly. All right, so there we go. We got our nice little heart. And we're going to, making sure you guys can see, going to dip it in our paint. And so definitely getting good and messy here. All right, and so that's one part. Make sure you guys can see this. All right, so one, 
lift it up to make sure to get those edges and it gets its shape and try not to get too messy and three all right Ooh. so we needed just a little bit more paint on that one edge so then it gets a little bit more rounded there we go all right so that's kind of what it looks like there and once more grab our paintbrush add a stem or i'm sure you know like if the kids are already a mess they could just use their fingers i could almost use my fingers right now too all right and then you just have the the veins a bit of veins going through you could even you know draw out to separate the the individual leaves like that if you want to outline it you know just do a cute little outline so then you can see where each leaf is so I'm doing a little bit more detailed than I planned I think I'm just getting caught up because I haven't painted in a while and I do love to paint all right all right, so that's a bit of an idea here. I'm gonna leave it there so then you guys can see what it's like if you just do the outline, that's pretty. Or you can go ahead and do some of the, the leaf veins inside of it. Okay, and I think we still have two more ideas. So let me tuck this aside for a second, trade my papers. <sighs> Try. Didn't really plan where I was gonna set everything. So there we go, set that aside. All right, and then let's do this one next because it's pretty similar and then we can still use this paint. All right, so we're going to just use toilet paper roll, okay? All right, so, and we're just going to pinch the sides. So what I found was a bit easier, as you guys can see, we have like this line coming up, right? Can you guys see that? You know, the line on the toilet paper comes up. I found it much easier to work on the other side. So I started trying to do the pinch on, on the side where it, it makes it to the top. And it was a lot harder because it was it was affecting it. So do the opposite side of where it's coming up. And you're just going to push your finger in. Okay, you're just trying to give it that shape. And then use your fingers inside to kind of give it a little pinch. Okay. And so that will, once more, give us a bit of our shamrock look all right all right and if you'd like you can go ahead and pinch the other side just a little bit you don't want to do it too much if it's too blatant then you won't get the nice shape so once more we got our cute little hearts going on all right let me see if i can get yeah it looks good all right and then here we go once more if you're having trouble seeing go ahead and swipe the comments to the right all right here we go so we go one all right that's super cute you guys two and I mean, you could just do this as an outline for, for you to color in or whatnot. All right, make sure I get it all. And three. All right, that turned out super cute. And then you guys know me, I gotta put my stem on. All right, so getting fluff everywhere now. All right, I'm just gonna add on my cute stem. Okay, and there you go. We got another shamrock, you guys. All right, so then I have one more idea, and this one's going to be a little bit harder. Move aside some of the other things. Um, you know what? I might need a bigger paintbrush for this idea. Okay, so I have parchment paper, okay? So sometimes... Um, you know, like you have ideas that you want to do and you don't have anything available and you're like, oh, I could just draw it myself. So this is kind of what that is, is you can draw it. I just lost my glue. All right. So we're going to draw it on our parchment paper. OK, so go ahead and start with uh, one of the leaves and okay, make sure you guys can see kind of a heart. All right. And then we're going to do another heart. What? I'm gonna twist this, do another heart. All right, and one more. All right, and in this one, we can even add on the stem there, okay? All right, so, looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm just gonna quickly unplug that. We'll let that cool just for a second. 
and hopefully I can find one of my bigger paint brushes. I wonder if that one will do. My children have gotten in here and stole it. Oh, there they are. They just moved them on me. There we go. No, it's not a good one. And that one will work perfectly. So you want one that's going to be a bit wider, okay? Because it's going to be covering a decent amount of space. So we need this to dry so then we can do this. All right, we're getting there. We're almost there. Oh, maybe I should just be patient. All right, so that'll just take a minute to dry, you guys. You guys are more than welcome to put in other ideas. If you guys have used other things to be able to make shamrocks, go ahead and put it in the comments. I'm sure other people will love to hear what different ideas you have. All right, come on. So close. I just need it to dry. All right, just the middle part where they all connected. So, I mean, it seems like a long time, but when you're just sitting here working on things, it doesn't take, it doesn't feel like as long. All right, it's so close, but I don't want to damage it by taking it off early. All right, as you guys can see here, I want you guys to see how easily it comes off the parchment paper. Look at that, so easy. Sorry, I'm having to be just a touch more gentle because it's still a little fragile. Okay, so now we got our shape. And I'm just going to take off those extra strings so they don't get in the way. Okay, there we go. So we got our cute shape, right? Our shamrock shape. And you can do that, of course, with any shape. And so we're just going to lay that down. All right, and I'm going to grab up some of my paint. Okay, and we're just going to paint around it. Okay, so then hopefully... I think this would definitely do better with the spray than a brush, but I didn't have any spray on hand, so, so we're just going to use the brush, getting in all those nicks and crannies, and you want to make sure you're getting on the outside of your picture as well as the inside then, right? And there I am painting my finger itself. All right, and you just want to make sure that you're not moving it too much. And so that's why you want it to be a li little bit thicker. You don't want like a really thin line because if you accidentally touch it with your brush, you might push it and then you won't have any lines left over. All right, probably best to let it dry, but we're not going to wait for that. Let's go ahead and just take it off now. All right, so you guys can see I got a little bit moving around, but it's still an idea that you might be able to use once more. I probably should have done it just a little bit thicker. But still a fun idea. So that was four different ways to do shamrocks. All of them painting. And you could even do it with like fabric paint with these. Like it, you get like the, the puffy paint. Do fabric paint and be able to do these on shirts too. And that would be really, really fun too. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys would like to see more of my videos, you're more than welcome to add me as a friend on here um, or follow me. I also do have a channel, so if you're interested in getting, um, being able to see those, um, I can totally get, give you guys my channel. As well as, I think I'm going to start a emailing list. So if you guys want to be a part of that, then go ahead and shoot me a message, and we'll see what we can do to get that set up. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and we'll talk to. Till soon. Bye-bye.